Shalom, brothers and sisters. I just want to give you a quick message and a call for action. I know that times are tough right now. We're getting ready in the United States in a way to enter a recession. We just came out of COVID. And there was a lot of unemployment. And even though unemployment now has dropped down to like, I think, 3.6%, the reality is that most Americans are underpaid and we don't have a lot of money. But with that in mind, I'm here to ask you for some money. I hate doing it, but the reality is that we live in a society that runs on money, and if we want to get the word out, it does have a cost. We are currently working on a new website, and we are working on ways to help the saints obtain things that they want or may need at a more affordable cost. With that in mind, one of the things that we put together is this book. It's a pocketbook, it's about the size of my hand, very small, and it is Doctrines and Theologies of the Church of Jesus Christ. Now, this is an interesting book because it has the Book of the Law of the Lord, General Smith's views on the powers and policies of the governing United States, which is the track that he used when he was running for president. So, two political things there. Um, the Theology of the Church of Christ, which is better known as Lectures on Faith. And there's an excerpt from the Epistles of the Saints, which is the letter of, from Joseph Smith Jr. to James Strang, calling him to leave the church after his death. Then there is a journal entry with a testimony of the vision of the father, the mother, and the son that Joseph Smith, Sidney Regan, and another had. And then it wraps up with the Statement of Fundamental Truth that Christine and I put together to describe Mormon Cabal and part of our principles in the Fellowship of Christ. So what is the purpose of this book and why am I asking you for money? I was very frustrated when I discovered that I can purchase this book for $7, but selling it on the platform that we use, I have to sell it for like $13 or $14. And we make a two cent profit. Now please understand that I'm not asking for money because we're trying to make a profit on books. What I want to do is I want to raise $350 and I want to use that money to buy copies of this book so that I can sell them for a lower price. I can't give books away free. I'm not rich. I don't have a hundred billion dollars sitting in a bank account somewhere. But if we can raise enough money, then we can purchase these books at a lower cost and then sell them to the saints at cost. You know, we may make a nickel profit, but for a more affordable price. And we can use that money to give them as the spirit directs to those that can't afford to buy one. So we are trying to raise $350 to do this. We're also working on a pocket edition of the Book of Avar. This is the most expensive version of the book right here, the hardback. And the Book of Avar, for those that do not know, I guess I should hold that one up too. The Book of Avar is the history of the coming forth of the Book of Mormon. The purpose of the Book of, of Avar is not just to share with people where the Book of Mormon came from, the greater purpose is to remind us all of Latter-day Saints that we all came from the same place, that we all share that same common origin. The Book of Mormon brings people to Christ. It's our hope that the Book of Avar will bring us back together. Likewise, what's the purpose of this? I don't want to convert people to some political the theocracy. Our goal is in this book is to say, hey, we have a book here by James Strang. We have writings of Joseph Smith. We have writings of Sidney Rigdon. And then we have something for Christine and I. But the point of this book isn't to indoctrinate people or to force a theological mindset on people. It's a quick pocket reference that will not only help you as a spiritual guide, but will also remind us all that all these different churches are all really one church, the Church of Jesus Christ. This isn't a book specifically for the fellowship or for the 
Shrangite Latter-day Saints or the Salt Lake City Church or other Brighamite Latter-day Saints or Community of Christ or any of the RLDS branches. This is a unified book full of people, with the exception of Christine and I, who helped found our movement. So we have the Book of Avar, then we have the Book of Mormon, and then we have this Doctrine and Theologies, uh, Doctrines and Theologies book. We want to be able to help those that can't but, but feel they have a need or a desire for these books, obtain them. And we have put aside other works and other projects that we're working on to try to move this work forward. So it is my prayer and my request, my ask here, that you will please give generously. And if generously is $5, please give $5. If generously is $500, Please give generously because we need $350 for this book and then we're going to need $350 for this book when it comes out. So the quicker we can raise these funds, the faster we can lower the costs and help people get the books that they want and need. And it's a perpetuating cycle after that. Yes, we will give some away. But by making just, you know, a markup of five cents, as we sell the book, that will have, that will give us the money to replace that book. And as people continue to donate to these, to the scripture fund, we will have the money to give scriptures away to those in need. We want to add the Bible. We want to add the Book of Mormon. Right now you can get those free through other churches. So we're starting with the ones that aren't available anywhere else. And then eventually we'll move to the ones that everyone is already doing. So again, if you can give, please do, and please give generously. That is our prayer. That is my ask today, and I, I leave it with you in the name of Jesus Christ, because this isn't my work. It's his. Amen.